Welcome to the channel and today we're going to be going over the bits and pieces of a pretty special Macintosh. We have on the desk today the guts of a Macintosh TAM. Uh, I guess TAM is already uh, uh, enough for that because this is the 20th anniversary Macintosh. Uh, this came out uh, March 20th, 1997. Uh, this was to celebrate the 20th uh, year of Apple. Uh, so what did that get you? Well, that got you a uh, PowerPC 603 EV uh, in the form of a 6500 uh, logic board. Uh, so if we take a look here, it's not a lot to see. Uh, it's pretty tightly integrated. Uh, it does have an ATI, uh, what is that, a 3D Rage 2, uh, 2 megabytes of VRAM. Not a powerhouse by any stretch. I mean, keep, you know, keep in mind uh, that gaming uh, was still kind of, in its, at least performance-wise, was in its infin in infancy. Uh, so we're going to be replacing all the caps here. Uh, where possible, we're going to be using uh, Polymer. Uh, where we can't fit one or we don't, uh, you can't easily get that cap. Uh, we'll go ahead and use polymer, uh, tantalum, tantalum polymer. Uh, so and then we're going to be rebuilding the Bose board. Uh, that was one of the key uh, features of the TAM is you got a pretty good sound uh, out of it. It had a subwoofer. I believe there were also uh, pod speakers uh, that went with it. I'm not an expert on TAMs. Uh, if you want more uh, information on TAM, I highly recommend checking out the videos done by Sean, a.k.a. Action Retro. Uh, he's done some uh, crazy shenanigans uh, to his TAM, and definitely worth a watch. Uh, we're also going to be rebuilding the, I believe this is, I don't know, this has an official name, but it's basically a power distribution board. So there's a 3.3 volt regulator, and then uh, there's a buck converter or something, in, you know, basically a switch mode power supply. Uh, at least it's probably a uh, buck, yeah, it's a buck circuit more than likely. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace these caps, uh, with low ESR components. Now, norm I would replace them with polymer. Uh, in fact, I do have a polymer cap there. Uh, it's an Oscon right there, that blue one. Uh, so I probably will just try using low ESR across the board or uh, sorry, polymer across the board. If I could get them, these small, these little tens are hard to get, uh, at least for my distributor. So, uh, so there's that. Uh, we're going to also be upgrading the fan. So we have a new fan here and we're going to be chopping off. I know I really, uh, I really don't know if I want to do that, but yeah, it's a fan. Uh, we're going to be chopping off this cable, chopping off this cable, and then, uh, going ahead and extending it out. So that it's about a similar length. Uh, we're going to be redoing the spade connectors. I really don't know how to get this to focus. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the depth of field is pretty, uh, I'm not terribly great at this, but anyway, uh, so we're going to be uh, redoing those. You can see they're kind of, uh, oxidized, uh, on the topic of oxidation and whatnot. Uh, we're going to also be redoing that, uh, what is it like 10, 10 or so connection, uh, Header right there. We're going to go over that with some solder uh, tenant. Uh, that is a fix for uh, static and whatnot. Although I personally think probably electrolytic uh, grease would be just as good. But doing what the owner asked. So, uh, so there's all that. Um, not terribly exciting. But uh, definitely an interesting view into a TAM. Uh, you know, we want to make this last, uh, as long as possible. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, recap this. I'll probably do a final video once done, although that'll mostly be, uh, just showing everything again, but I'll, I'll go over any issues that I've faced, if any, and kind of show you what the final results are. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll uh, be happy to answer them.